What's up you guys, welcome back to Why Body Nation. Today we are going over the Carlock OBD2 GPS tracker with the app on my phone as well. Obviously a lot of YouTubers and uh, other influencers have a lot to say about this product. Again, it's the Carlock OBD2 tracker. It's not just for Hellcats, Scat Packs, Mopars, it's for anything. I first tested it on my 2022 WRX, but you know, you've got people like Knockout360 that plug these guys on a regular basis, and then you've got other people that uh, maybe have some not so nice things to say about this device, and I feel like I am I'm somewhere in between. So stick, stick till the end of the video. This thing is not that expensive. They did send it to me for free, and I've been doing the free trial, so, you know, I guess I saved 45, 50 bucks or whatever it may be. But uh, I guess, you know, I appreciate them for sending it out. But uh, just because they sent this to me for free does not mean I'm going to tell you guys to go buy this even if I don't think it is worth your hard-earned money, no matter if it was $1 or $1,000. So with that being said, uh, let's go over what this device is and does, and then I will show you how it hooks up, and then we'll talk about the pros, the cons, and uh, you know we'll finish it up. But again, it is Carlock. It is a OBD2 device, pretty small, not too bad, right? It plugs right into your OBD2 port, which is down above your left foot, very close to the parking brake, which we'll call that foreshadowing for later in this video. So now when you plug it in, it uh, it does the beep boop bop boops and talks to your car, talks to the satellites, and then it talks to your phone right here. So ours is not currently plugged in, so it's not actively tracking. I also have my flashlight on my phone, which is shining right in my face. I, I would just not recommend that on a personal note, but overall, very simple solution. So as far as their idea goes, not a bad idea, um, but the execution and the actual living with the product is where I start to have some, some issues, uh, some constructive criticism, if you will. Now, before we go plug it in, I already know what they're gonna say and what you're gonna say. That's it, you just plug it right in. Well, you know, they do ex include this extender, which looks to be, oh, a little bit over a foot. I'd say it's probably a foot and a half extender. So it is a, it's, you know, it's an OBD2 plug and then you can route it up into the dash or, you know, into your door, whatever, you know, you route it away. So I will be showing you guys this, but again, main, most people's criticisms are the location, the fact that it, takes up the OBD2 port and the fact that people just say, oh, you know, you can just chuck it out the window, right? So with that being said, let me plug it in for you guys without the extender. And then I will go ahead and kind of show you the initial, uh, I would say issues in my opinion. And to do that, we will put the parking brake on because that will be important momentarily. All right, so plugging it in, I like to actually get down here and look at it, even though it's very easy to feel the OBD2 port. All you do is plug it on in. And boom. Just make sure everything lines up and you are in. Now, let me uh, back up for a minute. Are we seeing a problem here, folks? Are we seeing a problem here? Ask me how I know that that's a problem. You might even see a little bit of dirt on my car lock device from my shoe. And why do you guys think that is? Well, when you push this, it is literally right next to it. So if you don't hit it with your shoe, the parking brake has like a little 50% chance of hitting it. Now, the extender over here I'll go ahead and take that out of the bag right here. Let's see if I can do this with uh, basically just one hand. Now I got the extender here and uh, you know, I'll undo the, undo the cord for you guys right here just to give it a full evaluation. But so we'll unplug the, I'm gonna put the brake back on. Kind of hard to do with your hand. Uh, so we'll unplug that. We will go ahead and plug in the extender right here. There you go, you guys heard it. It just 
is unlock or it's uh, alarming my phone. So their app is not bad. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in to the extender right here. Then you guys can see you got about a 18 to 24 inches of uh, extension here. And then the clearance is better, but not, still not, you know, not great. I just don't, I use the, I use the parking brake because I do see this as a tiny, tiny bit of theft prevention. Just one more thing they have to undo before they leave. And I just use it because I don't trust uh, the little pin in the transmission that holds your car in neutral. So now I could hide this up in the dash anywhere. Obviously I want to keep it away from the pedals. I mean, honestly, I'll just, I'll hold it up here out of the way. If we can even get it up here. We'll just hold it up there for now, just so that we can kind of test out the parking brake right here. It is better. So obviously they care enough to have that extender, both for security purposes. And I'll show you on the phone here. I am very hot right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it the car on and not I'm not gonna let it idle very much because I'm still during the break-in period but whoo but we have I have it listed as my 2022 WRX because uh, that's what I initially tested on and they don't let me change it so um, we can go ahead and recenter and show you guys where I'm at here so I'm at the old shop right now and yeah we are you know disconnected you can Go ahead there. Now, if you lock it on the app, you know, then it'll it'll do any shock sensors, anything. If it starts driving at all, I believe it will even alert because it's actually locked right now. So I don't think it's uh, supposed to even let us drive away from what I understand. It's a little delayed from what I But I didn't even have it locked uh, on the app and it gave me the uh, the code there. So let's go ahead and drive, drive away and we'll see if it alerts us. Drive outside the radius here. get outside the little circle of uh, containment or whatever. the circle. So as you guys can see, it does work. Um, you know, is it, is it foolproof? Is it foolproof and foolproof? Is it the best device ever? Uh, I would say no, obviously it's not like some 600 or a thousand dollar or embedded alarm system like maybe like a Corvette or something has, but it does the job, folks. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, well, it's it's a good and a bad thing that I, you know, accidentally kicked it out of the OBD2 port the first time I used it because obviously that is a common concern. So if you guys do ever get this thing, I would highly recommend that you never ever plug it into the OBD2 port without the extender. I just have it up here right now to go ahead and keep it out of the way. But you know, I, you guys already saw on the phone, it tracks you, it, uh, 
you know, it gives you alerts if it's unplugged, which I think is the biggest thing, honestly. It's not necessarily the tracking, because we're gonna go over tracking to other tracking devices, and in my opinion, you should have a hardwired tracking device as well as some other like more passive tracking device that's not as obvious, like an Apple AirTag. But, you know, for 50 bucks, and then it's, I think there's a monthly subscription as well. Um, you know, it's, it's take it or leave it. They sent it to me for free, so I'll probably use it as long as I don't have any more issues with it. And like, it was nice that it was free. Um, I can't give you guys a good faith, hard yes recommendation on it unless you guys literally just acknowledge everything I've kind of said as far as pros and cons in the video and you're okay with spending like 45 or 50 bucks on it. And then whatever the monthly fee is after the free trial, I think it might be like 10 or 15 bucks a month. I can't remember. Maybe I'll, uh, in the editing process, I'll, uh, I'll edit over this and, and I'll just put an asterisk over my dumb voice. But it, it has a, a shock sensor for like a shock or a tilt sensor so that if your car is jacked up or put on a trailer or a tow truck, it goes off. Um, it obviously has the, the GPS tracking when it's plugged in and it kind of, even if they unplug it, it'll give you like a, a last known location before they unplugged it. it can track speed and you can actually uh, like put geo fences in the app from what I understand. But it is a very simple, simple device in a very simple and obvious location. I mean, the OBD2 port is one of the easiest places to check for a device and also is a place where you do need the OBD2 port like when you go into the shop as well. Not that it's a big deal. I mean, you could take it out of there before you even go to the shop so you're not getting all the crazy notifications on your phone like this or, or nothing like that. But, um, you know, I guess we'll go ahead and unlock it real quick just so we can stop the madness. There's my 2022. It's funny, they actually look like they use a, a 2022 charger as like the, as the, the emoji or the you know the symbol for it but i you know that's just funny to me so let me know what you guys think um again we just reviewed the car lock i mean i have it right up here so we're reviewing the car lock obd2 tracker right here uh, i have the extender on it which is which is better you know it's not i'm feeling it again let's see yeah i mean it's more or less out of the way at this point um, the only problem is just, you know, with, with my feet being down there, if you do kick it out, especially if you do it multiple times, I just get worried that the OBD2 port is going to get jacked up. Now, um, it looks like you can replace the port pretty easily from what I just saw, because mine even has like a tiny bit of issue now. Like, I think it's just plastic got a little bit scratched, but didn't break or nothing, but just very concerning to me with a brand new car. Uh, in some ways, but I guess they could just blame that on me as a idiot with big feet or, or, or whatever it may be. And, uh, you know, I guess they probably don't factor in that there's still a lot of foot parking brakes here in the car industry. But we are rolling by Gary Matthews Motors, which is the dealership that is responsible for uh, telling me incorrect information about my vehicle tracker, my Mopar EVTS. They told me that it could not be transferred to my red eye. And then uh, my red eye was stolen, so I appreciate y'all's, uh, you know, just general incompetence, Gary Matthews Motors, uh, but, you know, maybe we'll do business in the future and you guys can compensate me appropriately. But that's about all I got for you guys. We are going to go ahead and um, stop off back at the gym. I probably should continue my workout, but I was just getting, getting all wound up because I finally wanted to review the car lock. But, oh, one more thing, one more thing. So, on the Subaru, which apparently this is a known problem, my mechanic uh, and friend and fellow YouTuber Tommy Kentner was telling me that on the Subarus, a lot of these OBD2 products, a lot of them trigger the check engine light, which it did trigger the check engine light on my Subaru. I will let you guys know in a follow-up video on the car lock if it does trigger my check engine light for, uh, for this 2022 jailbreak but I am hoping I'm hoping that since Dodge is such an old design and it's so uh you know so such a dumb dumb old car design that it doesn't do anything I'm just hoping that the Subaru is like finicky or something but with that being said I hope you guys appreciate the 
raw honesty and the, you know, just general candor here with this device. Um, that is really what I'm trying to bring you guys. And uh, obviously I have a lot more emotionally invested in this product right here, the neutral strap cover from destroyer1320.com. This is the device that we came up with to prevent the neutral strap from being pulled on your car and then your car from being presumably towed away like my uh, 2021 red eye was in Dallas, Texas. I only had that car for two months and it was stolen and never recovered because you connect is garbage. But if you guys want to go ahead and get that before the prices go up, uh, my discount code is WBN on destroyer1320.com. That is the best discount code out there. And hopefully this police officer over here doesn't pull me over since I'm driving like the most stolen, the most pulled over car and just generally the most high vis car on the planet. But with all that being said, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys for the next video.